Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey, we are going to uh, go check out a flip car, a potential flip car. All right, so here we are, we made it. What we've got here is an 09 Mercury Mariner with 155,000 miles on it. She needs a little clean up, but other than that, she's in great shape. All right, so we picked it up. The sale is complete. We're gonna go by the tag agency, drop off the uh, the title and all that good stuff. Um, we got it for 1400. He was wanting 15. I tried to get him as close to a thousand as I could, and he just he wasn't having it. And I understand, you know. I mean, it, this is a good car. Uh, it's just dirty. I mean, that's all. It's really. That's it. It's just dirty, and that's actually that's the way I like them because if it was all dolled up and shiny and looking good at the time of the sale. He would have been asking a lot more than 1500 for it, I'll tell you that. At auction, I know without a doubt that this would go for well over, probably probably around 2500 and that's at a dealer auction. And dude, I know that for a fact because I've been at the dealer auctions for the past couple of weeks, just kind of getting an idea of what things are going for. And I've seen an 03 Toyota Highlander go through for $5,300 and I was just blown away. I couldn't believe it. But that's just how it goes sometimes. I mean, you're in there bidding against buy here, pay here car lots. They'll bid those things up, man, because they know they might, they'll probably sell that thing over and over again, you know? I mean, they're going to sell it to somebody for a down payment. The guy's going to make his payments a few times. It's going to break down, whatever they're going to end up repoing that thing and turning around and selling it again. That's just how typical buy here, pay here lots operate. And that's why they will pay more for the cars because hell, they'll end up getting 20 grand for that thing easy by the time it's all said and done. This is a premier. This is a Mercury Mariner premier edition. So that's fully loaded with everything. It's got the sunroof. Everything works on it. Nothing's broken and this thing drives down the road perfectly. It don't make a rattle, a squeak, shimmy, shake, nothing. The sh I mean, it's very tight. This, this thing feels great. Nothing's worn out on it at all. So I feel like I got a great deal on it. $1,400 for this. No buyer's fees, none of that because we, we bought it off an individual. And uh, I actually know the guy I bought this from. And so I know a little bit of the history of the vehicle. So that that's awesome I mean, that makes me feel great to know that this thing was dealer maintained its whole life it's one owner they bought it brand new from a dealership this is a score all day long I'm very very pleased with this it was worth the wait it took a little bit longer to find this flip because I, I was just trying to find the perfect one you know and I feel like this is it we're gonna get this thing in there we're gonna get it all nice and detailed just like we did the RX 300 and we're gonna get her up for sale and see what we can get for it all right so I got her out here in the Sun so we can get a little better look at it I'm on my way home figured I pull over and uh, get some good shots of it here she's dirty guys so get ready She's been sitting under a carport for some time now. So she's got a lot of lawn clippings and things like that that's been slung all over the side of it. We'll get you guys some uh, good shots of the inside of it out here in the lighting. Seats and everything are in really good shape. Just a little dirty. We'll get her all cleaned up. We're gonna get it fully detailed. We'll get in there and we'll uh, Vacuum all that up, 
do a little shampooing. Fortune cookie, dude. All right. All right, let's see what our fortune is. I've never found a fortune cookie on one of these yet. Let's see what we got here. Investigate new possibilities with friends. Now is the time. All right, well, we'll see. So this is a cool little deal. We found these in the glove box. Uh, I like it when you find the window stickers. It shows that somebody actually cared and uh, they saved them. So the, the RX 300, the Lexus we just sold, it was the same way. Somebody saved all the, the window stickers and stuck them in the uh, glove box. And I thought it was pretty cool. I've got some old trucks that are the same way. I mean, I got an 81 Chevy Love that it still had its window sticker in the glove box, believe it or not. So pretty cool when you find that stuff. All right, so this is really all we're gonna do, man. Um, we got this Mean Green here. We'll mix it up in a spray bottle. And uh, got our microfibers. Got some little brushes to get in all the little cracks and stuff. Uh, of course, I got some assortment of scrub brushes. We'll get in there and scrub the carpet. Get some of these stains and stuff out. Real simple, probably not even $20 worth of stuff. So there's why we uh, went ahead and pulled the seats out. That's all the stuff my vacuum was missing. Uh, four bolts, not a big deal. We'll get both these seats out.
All right, if you guys are wondering what I'm spraying here, this is just the main green, the purple stuff there. Um, it, you mix it one part main green to four parts water is what it calls for. I guess you can maybe mix it a little bit stronger if you want. Just want to test like an inconspicuous spot, make sure it doesn't stain anything if you're going to go stronger. But four to one is what they recommend. That's what I did. It seems to be working pretty good. All right, so we've got the whole inside of that thing cleaned up, and man, it looks like a million bucks. We're gonna jump in here and do the floor mats now. We'll get these things scrubbed up.
Uh, so I got an issue here with the bumper not wanting to stay popped in. So I'm gonna take it apart, see what's going on in there. I'm sure it's broken. Maybe we can glue it, maybe we can rivet it in there. I don't know, we'll find out here in a minute though. Now I should be able to do this without actually pulling the bumper completely off. I think that'll give me enough room right there. And the way it is, is this plastic bracket actually clicks into the fender here with just clips. But for some reason, this isn't wanting to stay clicked into the plastic bracket for some reason. So we got to figure that out. Technically, the plastic piece is supposed to be clicked onto the bumper and it gets held on with a little rivet right here. And then that will click into the fender itself. I'm gonna try to get this off of the fender without breaking the clips. Let's see what happens. All right. Ooh. Got it. All right, cool. We didn't break none of the tabs. Awesome. Sounded like we did, but no, they're good. Now this is supposed to clip onto this. Well, maybe that we got it out here, we can see what the problem is. Oh, look at this. Here's a clip. It was completely bent down. That's what was holding us up. That's why it wouldn't go in the, in the clip. So that's our issue right there. So now that that's in there, we could put us a rivet here and that should hold it. And then we can clip it back into the fender, see if it'll hold this time. All right, so we got a hole right here and right here. These are the rivets. We will um, put that right down in there like that. And then another one will go down here, just like that. Here's my rivet gun, very simple. You just put the rivet in there, pull on it a few times. And for those of you that don't know, this pin will come start to come up through here and it makes that swell out. And when it does, it'll hold these two pieces together. That's the plan anyway. Let's see. Just like this. I'm just going to pull the handle down. And after about the third time, it'll snap off. And there you go. Pull that out. Get rid of it. Check it out. Got your rivet. And that is tight. Let's get this next one. Same way. We'll have to be a little careful on this one. Not hit the paint. I'll try to hold that one my other hand so I don't pop off there and hit the fender. Right, this one will be about on the fourth one. There we go. Perfect. Now it's all together. Check it out. Awesome. Now that should clip into the fender and the problem should be solved. All right, here we go. Get those lined up there. There it is. Awesome. See, unfortunately, people's been trying to get that to click in and stay in and look, it chipped up the paint on the edges. And all it was was that little tab was um, kind of bent down and not allowing it to go in the groove like it was supposed to. That combined with not having the rivets holding it all together, it just wasn't gonna work that way. But whatever, we'll see if we can touch that up. Everything's good now, we'll move on. All right, I'm gonna take my racer wheel. We're gonna get rid of the pinstripe because I don't know if you guys noticed, but up front, we're missing a pinstripe on that fender. Um, I mentioned earlier, this car has never been in a wreck and it hasn't, but it did have a little altercation with the cow. <laughs> you gotta love country living, right? So he uh, replaced the fender and the hood and painted it, but unfortunately we're, gonna, we're missing a pinstripe. I'm not buying a pinstripe for it. Uh, this is a lot cheaper just to go ahead and get rid of it. Nobody has ever noticed. I'm telling you, any car I've ever sold, nobody's ever came up and been like, hey, where's the pinstripe? So it doesn't matter, man. Pinstripe can be pricey and we ain't buying it.
All right, now that we've got it all dolled up, let's get her up for sale. That starts with paperwork. We'll get some copies of uh, the buyer's guides and things like that put into the windows. All right, y'all, I think that's gonna do it on this one. Appreciate you guys following along. Please like, subscribe, share this with your friends, all that good stuff. Don't forget my Instagram, and I'll see you guys later. For everybody, I think that's going to do it on this one. I appreciate you guys following along. Hey, don't forget to check out my Instagram. And uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And don't forget to tune in next time. See if we made any money on this thing. I'll see you guys later.